the mouse. It's a great invention, it's intuitive to use, and it helped to take the personal computer mainstream. By simply using the mouse, the user can move an arrow around on the screen and simply point. But is there a problem with the mouse? In this video, I'm going to look at research on using the mouse less and using keyboard shortcuts more and whether there's any benefit in that. I have a theory, and that is that keyboard shortcuts are much, much faster than using the mouse, but very few people use them. And I want to find out whether that's true. Specifically, I want to know how much faster they are, what percentage of people use them, and if, as I suspect, it's quite low, why is it so low? So I got to work straight away. And I was in luck, because a lot of research has been done on this, so I should soon have my answer. But there was a problem. So perhaps unsurprisingly, everything I want to read is behind a paywall. But I wasn't going to let something like that stand in my way. So I called my friend Julie, who's a researcher at a UK university. Hello. Hi Julie, it's Giles. Have you had a chance to read my email yet? Fantastic. And are you allowed to access papers to send to me? Well, probably not. <laughs> I, I thought that might be the case. Do you mind doing it anyway? <laughs> um, okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, thank you very much. Can you email them to me? Yep, I'll do that for you. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We've got them. And within five minutes, Julie had sent them to me. So all of this comes within the field of human-computer interaction, which is a fascinating subject. And after a few days of reading through these papers, this is what I found. OK, let me show you something. The time taken to point and click on a graphical user interface, or a GUI, is given by this equation. This is known as Fitt's law. A relates to the initiation of the movement, B to the speed of the movement, D is the distance moved, and W is the width of the target. So it's saying that the further you have to move the mouse and the slower you do it, the longer it will take, which <laughs> I guess isn't a great surprise. But it can take three seconds or more just to get from here to here. That's extremely slow. Keyboard shortcuts take between 300 and 500 milliseconds. That's up to 10 times faster. So does that mean a lot of people use them? No. As you can see from this 2005 survey. The question then is why? Why if the mouse is so much more inefficient than using keyboard shortcuts, do people continue to use it? Well, the answer is that it's complicated. One reason is that the mouse is just a much more intuitive way of interacting with the computer. Another is that a lot of people just aren't aware of the benefits of using keyboard shortcuts. Oh. Another couple of reasons are that it's too much effort and the payoff's too slow. When you first make the transition from using the mouse to keyboard shortcuts, it can actually be slower because you have to remember the shortcut, which can take time, or you have to look it up. And during that period, people can revert back to using the mouse. And it can take up to 20 or 30 repetitions in order to remember the shortcut, so you can use it quickly enough for it to be faster than using the mouse. Keyboard shortcuts. If only there were learning shortcuts. Well, there are. Yes, you, the man in the blue hoodie. Me? There are learning shortcuts. Oh. Do you want to learn STEM subjects like math, science, and computer science interactively? Um, yes. Well then, you're gonna love Brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is an interactive learning platform that teaches math, science, and computer science. And it does give you that shortcut to learning with its interactive problems. I've been using Brilliant for years and it really does supercharge your learning because the interactive problems force you to think about a topic in so many different ways that you can't help but understand it once you've been through them. Brilliant has thousands of lessons and they add new content every month. This course on scientific thinking will really help you to understand scientific concepts and it'll help you improve your problem solving skills. To start your learning journey, go to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer and the first 200 of you to sign up will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Sounds pretty good. I think I might sign up. Okay, so quick summary. 
keyboard shortcuts are just far faster than using the mouse. The mouse is intuitive and it's great for beginners because it's easy to learn. But for anyone else, really, just use keyboard shortcuts. In the research, it says that keyboard shortcuts are anywhere between, I don't know, I think it's 20% and nine times faster than using the mouse. So it's difficult to quantify exactly, but there is no doubt that you will save time if you use keyboard shortcuts for the, for the programs and applications that you use the most. So your operating system, your browser, your email, and any other programs that you use a lot, just learn the keyboard shortcuts for the 10 most common things that you do. I think you'll be amazed at how much time you'll save and how much more efficient that you've, you will feel and more focused as well because you don't have to keep looking up and finding the cursor and being distracted by your mouse. It's a great way of interacting with the computer. Right, I'm gonna get my hair cut. <laughs>